Martin Shkreli. Shkreli. Martin Shkreli. He's a Wu-Tang fan. They don't need a better version of this drug. What are you doing here? Martin Shkreli. He loves hip hop. I intend to follow the advice of my counsel. Not yours. Probably oh, FBI. Said, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'm threatening your queen, so just keep that Is it Wu-Tang Clan? Is that the name of the album? Name of the group? Remember Martin Shkreli? He's best known as Wall Street's most visible villain who quickly became the internet's most hated man. He's infamous for boosting the price of HIV drug Daraprim, buying an overpriced $2 million Wu-Tang album, embarked upon a Twitter feud with Wu-Tang rapper Ghostface Killer. You're not a Ghostface Killer. I'm sorry. Offered to buy Kanye West's album for $10 million and spends time trolling the rest of the internet via Twitter. Ring a bell yet? While mass media has heavily focused on these attention-grabbing headlines in addition to Screlly's recent legal battles with the Securities Exchange Commission, they have effectively painted Mr. Screlly as a smug, evil, profiteering son of a... Well, you get the point. That guy is nothing. He is zero. He's nothing. And he ought to be ashamed of himself. I am announcing a detailed plan to crack down on these abuses. Screlly says his company will use the profits from Daraprim to develop other medicines. There's no doubt I'm a capitalist. I'm trying to create a big drug company, a successful drug company, a profitable drug company. What mass media has not told you about the most hated man on the internet is a lot. Which is, Shkreli is not alone. He's just doing what a lot of pharmaceutical companies already do. And if there's a company that was selling a, an Aston Martin at the price of a bicycle, and we buy that company, and uh, we, ch we ask to, to charge Toyota prices, I don't think that that should be a crime. Believe it or not, the 32-year-old hedge fund manager turned pharmaceutical company CEO may actually have a more likable side. I grew up in the streets, shared a room with my brother. You're talking about two bedroom, you know, four kids. You know, okay. I grew up the, the same way everyone in Brooklyn grows up. In November of 2015, he bought failing pharmaceutical company Kayla Bios, owning rights to a drug used to treat a disease caused by parasites. The stock soared 400% after Scully bought the company. That same month, he cut the price of Daraprim by half for hospitals, in addition to continuing to offer the drug to financially struggling patients at a discounted rate and even for free. You know, we're, we're uh, dramatically increasing the access to Daraprim, uh, lowering co-pays, giving more drug away for free. Half of the drug we give away is for one dollar. Screlly also spends several hours per video hosting a free online course via a live YouTube stream teaching chemistry and finance investing to any and all viewers. So we're able to solve this pretty complex equation using dimensional analysis. While it's easy to think of him just as a trolling farm bro purely in it for the profit, he began to use his mostly self-taught knowledge of drugs to try to develop some of his own. In 2014, Retrofen, founded by Shkreli, was granted a patent for a drug that treats a rare disorder that causes iron to build up in the brain and can be fatal. Shkreli is listed as one of the drug's inventors. In a statement, Shkreli says, Healthcare is complicated. I never studied biology or chemistry, but with a little hard work in the internet, you can get there. What are your thoughts on Martin Shkreli?